What's new in 2022 in Las Vegas? Find out next on Jaycation. Hey, what's up, Jaycationers? Welcome back to another video here in the Las Vegas series. Happy 2022 to you. This is my first trip back to Vegas in 2022. We are here at the Bellagio Conservatory, which they change up throughout the year, different seasons, different times. Right now, it's Chinese New Year, so they dressed it all up with a Chinese New Year theme. It's the year of the tiger. They are all changed up for Chinese New Year. This year is the year of the tiger. A little incense display here by this pond. The next thing I want to talk about is a Michael Buble residency over at Resorts World. He's taken over from April 27th to May 7th because Celine Dion ended up canceling her residency. And currently right now, it's uh, Katy Perry performing at the Resorts World Theater. And she will be there until March, I think. And then after that, Carrie Underwood will take over. So they have a lot of star power coming to Resorts World for their concerts and residencies throughout 2022. So you're gonna wanna check out the event schedule there. There are going to be a ton of restaurants opening up in Las Vegas in 2022. The whole wave of celebrity owned restaurants are coming here to Las Vegas and we have the Jonas Brothers opening up a place. It's called Nelly's Southern Kitchen. They're gonna bring this Southern flavor. Make sure you check out Nelly's Southern Kitchen later on here in 2022. And Emmett Smith is gonna bring Emmett's Grill over here as well so you can watch some sports throughout the year. And I heard Emmett's Grill is a pretty cool spot, so make sure you check that out. On the Hawaii front, shout out to all my Hawaiian Jaycationers, Zippy's is a very popular fast food joint. There was talk about a Zippy's opening up here and they were actually starting to build it then the pandemic hit. Let's see, I, I haven't heard anything, but let's see if maybe in 2022, Zippy's comes to Las Vegas, AKA the Ninth Island. Now on the hotel front, an old hotel is reopening that's been closed down for a while and that's the Palms. The Palms was actually bought by San Manuel, which is an Indian tribe from California and they did a lot of remodeling and they haven't announced exactly when it's going to reopen yet, but they said sometime possibly in the spring. So expect the Palms to reopen in 2022 at some point. And that's really awesome because they have some really cool rooftop clubs over there and really nice swimming pools. And I'm just excited to go back to the Palms and let's see if they can revive it and rejuvenate it. All right, Jaycationers, if you're finding value so far in this video, I'd really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. It really helps distribute this video throughout YouTube in 2022. Please consider subscribing if you just discovered Jaycation. I have a ton of content to come here in Las Vegas, as well as San Diego, my hometown, and the rest of the world in the year 2022. I hope you guys enjoy my travel, food, and culture content. And let's get back to the video of things to do in Las Vegas in 2022. This is definitely my favorite display right here. Look at this. A little fishing village right here. They really do a great job here at the conservatory. You got mist down at that pond. And it feels like you're like looking at a mini jungle with these trees and everything. It's so cool. The crystal shops over at City Center and Aria between that and the Cosmopolitan. They're gonna be opening up an outdoor retail center called Project 63 where there'll be a lot of high-end retail. And I'm sure they're gonna do it up real nice because that area is amazing. And during Christmas time, we went over to the shops at Crystals. They had beautiful Christmas decorations. I'm sure they're gonna eventually do the same with Project 63. Also on April 1st, Billie Eilish she is huge. She is probably one of the biggest stars in the U.S. right now. Billie Eilish will be bringing her tour over to the T-Mobile Arena. Kick off spring with Billie Eilish over at T-Mobile Arena. And another thing that I'm anticipating and it hasn't been announced yet is a Silk Sonic tour. And hopefully we see Anderson Pock and Bruno Mars because we, we all know Bruno Mars has a residency over at Park MGM. So we'll see if that continues this year or if Silk Sonic finally goes on tour for their latest album, uh, Evening with Silk Sonic. I'm really excited to see that. Let's hope it happens. Another thing that's gonna be really fun to see is a little bit of an old Las Vegas performer coming back. And that's Wayne Newton. That's right, baby. Donka Shane, baby Donka Shane. Wayne Newton will be performing over at the Flamingo at some point this year. So you're gonna get a chance to see a classic Las Vegas performer come back and sing his hits. Loving this uh, tree right here in the middle of Bellagio. So what's next for what's new in 2022 in Las Vegas is the English Hotel opening up sometime in February over at the Arts District. Now the English Hotel is 
a hotel owned by Todd English, who's a very popular chef. Now, you don't really think about staying at the Arts District when you're in Vegas. That's the place where you go for some beer, some art, and just to cruise around. Another thing that is going to be opening up here in Las Vegas is the Kiss Museum. Funny enough, it's going to be over at the Rio Hotel. So they're going to have a bunch of memorabilia from Kiss tours, concerts, and studio recording, so that's gonna be pretty cool. I know Gene Simmons just sold his house over in Henderson or put it up for sale. Just met a Jay Kishner, Andy. Shout out to you and your wife. Thanks for saying hi. Right behind me here at Planet Hollywood, John Legend is gonna be bringing his residency over to the Zappos Theater. Right now, I believe it's Shania Twain performing over there. The amazing John Legend is gonna bring his piano and his vocal expertise over to the Zappos Theater. And that also brings me to the groundbreaking at the end of the year of the revamp of Miracle Mile Shop. So they said that they're gonna start construction on revamping Miracle Mile Shops, which is one of my favorite malls and some of the best cheap eats in all of Las Vegas. Into 2023, they're gonna do a whole new remodel and hopefully sometime in late 2023 or early 2024, you'll see a brand new Miracle Mile Shops. I don't see anything wrong with it right now, but you know Las Vegas, they always wanna do something new and improve. Now right behind me is the beautiful Paris Hotel and Casino. And Paris is actually gonna be also doing some improvements to their restaurants within the property. And they're gonna be bringing a Bobby Flay restaurant and a Martha Stewart restaurant over to their repertoire of Mon Ami Gabi, Eiffel Tower restaurant, and everything else they have in there. I think they also have a Gordon Ramsay steak within the Paris Hotel. And let's see if maybe the buffet opens. I'm not sure, I don't have any information on that. But the Paris buffet, it hasn't been opened. They've used it as like a job fair area who knows maybe they'll open it back up in 2022 but yeah look for more improvements in paris when it comes to their restaurants all around las vegas especially around fremont street you're gonna hear the killers best hits all around town because the killers are originally from sin city lead singer brandon flowers he's amazing he's one of my favorite singers and i love the killers they're gonna be making their triumphant return to sin city on August 26th over at T-Mobile Arena. Expect a lot of locals to go. Expect a lot of big fans around the country and the world to come because the Killers are a staple here as well as Imagine Dragons. But I'm not sure about Imagine Dragons coming here for a tour. Also, I didn't recognize that the Jockey Club is still inserted between the Cosmo and Bellagio. I thought it was long gone, but when I was walking down this hallway, I was like, whoa. Jockey Club still around. Right behind me is the famous Cosmopolitan Hotel and it's one of the hotels that are really popular. A lot of people like to stay here. It's the hip and chic place to be. I've stayed here many a times. I stayed here during Pacquiao Mayweather, partied over at Marquee, day club and night club. So it's a really great place. And it was actually sold for like one point something billion dollars to MGM property. It's gonna be changing hands over to MGM Resorts. Hopefully I can get a better deal on Cosmo when it becomes MGM because I have Sapphire Pearl on MLife and that will be really cool to see what they do with it when it turns over to MGM Resorts probably later on in the year into next year. Another thing to look forward to in 2022 is Weekends with Adele. That's right. British star Adele performing over at the Coliseum at Caesars Palace. Now I hear prices for her shows are astronomical. You'd have to pay like thousands of dollars to get in. So I don't know what's going on with that, but her residency is over at the Coliseum. I've seen Elton John there, I've seen Cher. I haven't seen Celine Dion, but that's where she originally started off with a residency. So yes, expect to see Adele sing all her hits over at the Coliseum in Caesars Palace. So if you're watching this video in mid-January, you're still gonna be able to catch these possibly in early February. And that's the All-Star Games for the NHL and the Pro Bowl for the NFL. So the NHL All-Star Game is coming over to T-Mobile Arena. And the next day is gonna be the Pro Bowl over at Legion Stadium for the NFL. So you're gonna have NHL and NFL fans, or both, coming into Sin City, having fun watching the biggest stars in their respective sports 
play some football, play some hockey, and it's just gonna be a fun weekend over at the sports book. I suggest you maybe check out that weekend in February because it's gonna be a fun time around here and it's a week before the Super Bowl, which is gonna be a fun time always here in Vegas. There's gonna be a lot of electricity around the sports book. So in the middle of April, the NFL draft is coming to Las Vegas, which means fans of every team can come here and see which college star is gonna make their way onto their team's colors and help them try to win a Super Bowl. And the Super Bowl in 2024 is actually gonna be here in Las Vegas. On a sadder note, the Mirage was sold over to the Hard Rock and the Hard Rock is gonna turn the Mirage into a uh, Hard Rock Hotel and Casino with a huge guitar being featured in the front. That means that the iconic Mirage Volcano, which we all grew up coming to see, is gonna go away. So you're gonna wanna experience the Mirage Volcano show, which happens from every hour until about midnight. You're gonna wanna check it out one last time here in 2022 on your next trip because it won't be here for very much longer. They haven't said exactly when it's gonna stop. Fortunately, the Mirage is turning into the Hard Rock and we'll see what happens with the Mirage. Maybe they build a new one in the south side of the Strip. I don't know. I wouldn't bet on it yet, but there's still news coming out on that. I guess we'll see. Another thing to watch out for in 2022 is to see if the Oakland A's will be moving to Las Vegas. Now there are rumors about the Tropicana being imploded to build a Oakland A's ballpark while well, they'll become the Las Vegas A's or something else. There's also signs pointing to that happening because the Oakland A's will be playing an exhibition game here later on in the spring if the MLB lockout gets resolved over at the Las Vegas Stadium where their double A team, this team, the Las Vegas Aviators, that's where they play. So we'll see if the Oakland A's actually make their way over here to Las Vegas. Now there will be a brand new 2022 Las Vegas Raiders season over at Allegiant Stadium. And along with the AFC West teams, the Chiefs, the Broncos, and the Chargers, there are gonna be five other cities that are gonna be visiting here. So people from those cities, those are perfect weekends for you to come here, root on your team, and Get a weekend in Sin City Inn. Here are the five teams besides the AFC West that are gonna be coming. Houston Texans, San Francisco 49ers, New England Patriots, Indianapolis Colts, and Arizona Cardinals. So for everybody that's fans of those teams, come down to Sin City and enjoy a weekend and watch your team play the Raiders at Allegiant Stadium, my favorite stadium in the NFL. Also right down the way, that little circular thing that looks like a cupcake, that's the MSG Sphere. I don't think it's gonna be finished this year, but it's still under construction and it should make a lot of progress this year. All right guys, another thing that's returning to Vegas in 2022 are festivals and my adding Clark, he's a veteran of a few. Can you talk a yes. few about the few ones that are definitely returning in 2022? Yes, as a festival goer, I know some of the bigger ones coming back in 2022 are Electric Daisy Carnival, AKA EDC. I know this past year they, uh, they pushed it to October, so it was held in October last year. Normally it occurs in the month of May, so be on the lookout for that. And also, uh, Life is Beautiful, and that returned last year. And uh, be on the lookout for that, because I know the lineups for those two festivals are always amazing. They're packed with the best talent, the best DJs, and uh, they provide the best times of your lives. Be on the lookout for that in 2022. There's a new name for Las Vegas Airport. It's Harry Reid International. Now it used to be called the McCarran Airport, but that changed to the late Harry Reid who just passed away about a week ago from the filming of this video. So Ladies rest in peace Harry Reid, but the Las Vegas airport is now named after Senator Harry Reid. All right, Jake Aishaders, so I obviously couldn't cover everything that possibly is going to be happening here in 2022. So comment below if there's anything that I didn't talk about or I missed out on. That's just a few things that I studied up on and I thought were the most interesting for 2022 here in Las Vegas. Now, obviously there's always gonna be concerts coming in and out of town and tours coming in and out of town. Olivia Rodrigo, I believe is coming here at some point too. Make sure you check her out sometime later on in the year. 2022 in Las Vegas is gonna be a fun time. And if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps distribute it throughout YouTube. Please consider subscribing to Jcation as I have tons of content in San Diego, Las Vegas, and the rest of the world. Now, if you have any suggestions on what you want to see me do and cover here in Las Vegas, please comment that down below. If you want to support me in 2022, going forward, I have a Patreon, PayPal, and Teespring where I have a lot of Jcation garb, Jcation apparel, I have shirts and hoodies and all this good stuff. So make sure you check that out. And hey, look, 
the fountain show is coming up. So we're gonna close this out. And in the words of Jay Cation, stay traveling Las Vegas. Uh -huh.